Yeah, hi guys, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today's Saturday, Sunday, September 20th, 4.47 my time. I just want to go over uh, some of the performance of this bot in the last week. Uh, what's to be learned from it, da da da. If you want to know more about this, come over to the quantlabs.net slash website. Get yourself some free books, sign up, and you'll be entered into our vortex of daily news stuff. So here's the overall performance of the bot, front and center. So we're going back, uh, today being Sunday, we'll go all the way back to uh, Monday. We had a few whopping returns uh, a few days prior, 8.1111, or sorry, um, this one right here, uh, 7.3. Um, and uh, essentially, we um, had another winning trade as well um, that really brought it up to about 9.3, but I'm just going to go with this one right here. And then the following couple of days, we ran into a couple of losses, 0.95 being a fairly big one, negative 2.14. And then yesterday, negative uh, 1.11. Uh, Today, we just got our uh, bot back, yay, with a, a trade on FTM. If you are one of my followers in the chat group in the WhatsApp, I put out an alert saying that FTM was moving. Uh, and that's what moved, and that's what uh, today on Sunday gave us about a 1% day daily trade. Uh, and there's a few other um, pairs as well that may or may not move, but I don't care. I just made my 1% and closed down the bot. So you might be going, well, what about these losses, dear Brian? Uh, those are fairly big. Okay, there's a couple of reasons for it. I want to uh, share them with you. Uh, let me just see here. Okay. So today I posted a, a bunch of um, articles on why this happened. So it took me down the path to do a, an analysis on all the positions that my bot has done trading with since August 8th. So there were 502. Uh, out of that, um, there's four conditions. So if you know about my way to move an average, it's these guys right here. Uh, moving average over the last hour or so for Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum Classic. So that measurements this way to move an average I'm talking about, a weighted average. Then I analyzed and broke that down. Um, if the weighted average was positive or negative, and then positive with a position, uh, if it was positive PL or profitable, did the same thing with a positive weighted average and a negative. Uh, profit and then did the same on the other side on the flip side looking at negative weighted average on the positive P&L and the negative weighted average with a negative uh, uh, negative position so out of those four 502 this is how it broke down um, so when we had a positive weighted average positive uh, position that was 177 or basically 35% Plus, if we had a positive uh, weighted average but a negative PL, which is the crust of it, uh, it came out to about 41%. So then everything's been ev evenly distributed on this type of analysis. And same with negative uh, weighted average and negative positions, that was 35% out of the uh, 502. So essentially, what I'm saying here is one of the rules I can do to eliminate 50% chance or roughly 50% chance for a loss is to only trade when that weighted average is profitable, okay? Because what will happen, it will boost um, uh, or eliminate 50% of the losing averages. So part of the game here when you do these type of, any, any asset class really, is to eliminate uh, bad positions, positions that you take on that will go negative. That could be highly volatile. Uh, those could be uh, where the average market conditions do not allow it. In this case, the weighted average I'm talking about, or um, a variety of other reasons. But those are usually the two big ones: is to watch individual uh, coins or whatever the instrument is, and see if it's volatile leading up to the to the time you're about to take a position. If it's highly volatile, don't take the trade. One great measurement for that is rate of change over an hour, over uh, five minutes, whatever time frame you want. But to be able to measure that and see if the uh, position 
before you take it on the instrument will be volatile. If it's volatile, don't take the trade because there's a high probability it will go negative. The other thing is to look at the market conditions. Now for crypto, crypto is one of the only asset classes that I know of that has a pretty strong correlation with certain coins. And these are them that I found. This has been fairly highly reliable to eliminate these type of positions. So I, I follow that. So when the market conditions allow with a weighted average being positive, then take a trade. And actually you can actually quantify it to a certain degree that has to be a certain minimum uh, for the weighted average to be to uh, uh, give you a higher probability of a profitable trade. So there's that. Um, one other thing that uh, brought about the losses this week, uh, namely this day, okay, and this day, we're talking about negative 2.14, negative 0.95. What I also identified in those uh, days was very simple. Um, certain coins, if you looked throughout the whole week, the, the weighted average moving or the weighted average was very small. It was very tight. Didn't move more than a positive half a percent or a negative half percent. Uh, and I'm going to show that in greater detail. So that means it's a very, the market condition is very hard to trade in. So as a result, um, what I identified when you do have a, a coin that is moving, and I'm kind of able to identify which coins are going to move, um, chances are if you get one of those coins moving negative, depending upon the actual coin and the amount of downward pressure it's been under for, let's say, a month, two months, meaning the trend is negative, if you get one position for that day on that coin, you have to put it on a temporary ban list. So allow the coin to be traded. If it actually becomes unprofitable <clears throat> throughout the remainder of the day, don't trade it. And that's what happened here <clears throat> on these two days. So for instance, this one, negative 2.14 that brought that down was essentially NEO. Okay, NEO, trade after trade, all of these trades here were all um negative uh for neo okay only one was profitable so again when you look at this one or actually this one actually sorry um which is bnb uh, that was negative 0.84 for the day same thing happened where there was a negative position for bnb it was unprofitable therefore i let it run throughout the day and this is what we ended up happening is this negative 0.84 total so if I had a, established this rule, this new rule saying don't allow a certain coin to be continuously traded throughout the day if it shows up negative. Don't trade it until the next day because if it's profitable, keep trading it. But if it's negative, don't trade it. And if I'd done that, we would, I would have been able to eliminate a lot of these bigger losses of 0.84, probably 0.95 somewhat and definitely for sure this negative 2.14 so now that i have that starting uh, tomorrow uh trading uh i'm hoping to eliminate that immensely okay so that's this article here uh, a post i put up called new cryptocurrency trading weighted average rule to protects downward pressure that's number one so in here if you follow this to this article crypto Currency analysis shows weakness in the last few weeks. So when you do these type of analysis, uh, I did this again um, for, it looks like I'm going around in circles here. So if you follow the link, uh, it should take you to this article here. Um, let me see here. Okay, yeah, this is what I want. So we have an article here called Cryptocurrency analysis shows weakness in the last few weeks. Okay, so let's let's uh, look at this one. So I did another analysis. So I took an analysis uh, over the last few weeks. Um, now, remember, I am able to track what I call the risk. So I have this weighted average among these five coins, right, that I mentioned, of the weighted average. So I am logging that weighted average every five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, since, I don't know, since the beginning, at the beginning of August, but I, I, I took the analysis farther back, 
uh, sorry, uh, just about three weeks worth. This is what I found. So out of that, there's a total of 3,533 um, entries of this log. And what I found was 51% uh, of them were negative. Okay, so that shows you how much pressure has been in the market over the last few weeks. Okay, that, that, there's no doubt on that. Now, in order for people to see these crazy ass 5, 10%, unless you get really lucky, to get those really big daily returns, you've got to have your, your weighted average to be over a one, okay, really, and, and it's been doing really well, uh, and, and those are with the big coins, to, for them to move, like the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, to really get some really juicy returns along the, with the other coins, the big ones. Out of that, for the last three weeks, only 4% achieved that. So in order to have a strong momentum in the market, to get those daily, really big daily returns, you have to see more of that. But in this case, the last three weeks, I've only seen around 4%. So that shows you how tight the market has been, how much downward pressure has been in the market, okay? So I could go on uh, for today, uh, just as an example, the last few days. Um, you look at that same log, just for today, and 43% of them were negative, and zero of them were uh, over 1% on average for the way to move the average. So that goes to show you how uh, tough it is to make money in this market, in the current conditions of cryptocurrency. Okay, so you might go, well, why bother? But let's go over what's happened in the last uh, week. Now, I have done this before. I've, uh, now this is the third week doing this where I'm tracking the overall performance of the bot against the overall performance of the five-day return of uh, S&P 500. Now, we know that S&P 500 has been dying, and yeah, it has. Okay, it's been all negative, okay? So if you go to Market Watch, where you can get this data from, uh, the market was down 1.12% uh, for the week. My bot, okay, for those uh, p &L I just showed you, this right here, these, these last set of columns, these are them with the returns of, for the day. It put the bot at 4.26% net, netting out everything. It's 4.26. That's pretty good. Considering gold is flat, forget Forex, um, commodities, there's no demand, so there's no money being made. I mean, this week with oil, it's different. But that's all political, and that's all random. You can't really predict that. And at the same time, you have uh, the S&P, which has been not doing well, and I also track a lot of the other major uh, exchanges out there, and they're not doing well as well. And when you look at gold and, um, and uh, silver, they're fairly flat as well. But that's a pretty good return considering what I've just told you, where I could probably have brought it up probably another 2 maybe 3%. Prior to the weeks, we were up plus 10%, plus 14%. So if you are trading just crypto alone, you will, you will outperform the market already in total of about 12, oh, sorry, 14 plus uh, 10, 24%, and now uh, about 3, maybe 5%. So you're already up for the last three weeks, outperforming the, out, the, outperforming the overall S&P uh, market, S&P 500, by probably at least 20% if you were just to follow this type of bot. And uh, hopefully with these rules here, that I'll be addressing these bigger losses for um, the day or for the week. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. Overall, what's being done to control these uh, losses. I analyze this stuff, uh, not daily, but pretty well weekly to see why certain uh, coins are doing bad. Now, people are going to go, well, how do I do that? How, how do I know? Where do I get the skills? Okay, I have to tell you, I am a C++ C coder for uh, since I've been 14 years old. Okay, I'm going way back because I'm literally a fossil in this stuff. But I have a course here in my elite program, this thing called um, uh, Evolution from Zero to Hero. Unless you have the coding skills that I have and knowing how to really analyze things and being able to debug things essentially, 
We're not talking about standard back testing and all that because it's all nonsense to me. But you're able to identify where the real problems are and patch those holes in the bot. I'm able to plug and control uh, those losses. So that's what I'm doing here. So I have this course that kind of covers that and shows you how to think like that and be able to identify running logs daily and being able to see these problems. That's part of my elite program that I've got. So if you're interested in that, just let me know by uh, commenting or via um, uh, my email. And as I said, do that. Just go over to the quantlabs.net. Okay. Also, if you're interested, I do have the um, chat. You'll be able to see that um, at the bottom of my blog here at quantlabs.net. You'll just click on this plus sign, and then you'll see join our WhatsApp group. It's another way to reach out to me. Okay. So I just want to put that out there for the week, what's going on, because I think this is really important so people understand truly how to do well in crypto. Um, it, it's not about the language, it's about your mindset and being able to control and, and, and building up the skills and knowing how to code up things and know how to see problems like this because it can be done and you can do well. All right, uh, we shall talk to you later uh, and thanks for watching. Have yourselves a uh, decent day.